Um, so I'm Roger Correll, as Stephen said, and I am joined by my esteemed colleagues here, uh, Ratnesh Muchal. I, I, I've known Ratnesh for years. I can never pronounce his name, last name correctly, <laughs> Ratnesh Muchal, who's a senior product marketing engineer. He's going to be talking to you in depth about this new product that we're launching. Um, so I'll try to steal as little thunder as possible from him in my section. And then Kapil Karkra, who is a senior principal engineer um, with, uh, with Solidime. And Kapil and his team have developed a super cool software capability that works with the combination of the new drive that Ratnesh is going to talk to you about, as well as um, our QLC product line. So that's kind of the theme of what we're going to be talking to you today is how do we kind of bring the density value, the TCO value, uh, just kind of the full set of value, how do, we, how do we bring that value of QLC to even more workloads beyond kind of the core targeted workloads that, uh, that QLC um, is designed for? These, the uh, capabilities that these gentlemen are going to be talking to you about extends that opportunity um, even further. Okay, so show of hands, do I need to go through this? Who's heard of Solidime? Is everybody aware of? Okay, so I think we just really quickly, I think the deal closed Intel selling its NAND SSD business to SK, I believe it closed December 30th of 2021. So we're coming up on our two year anniversary. So um, that deal basically formed Solidime as a wholly owned subsidiary under SK Hynix. Uh, we've got offices around the world. We have manufacturing uh, capabilities in Korea, uh, China. Um, we, um, you know, we have this portfolio we believe is an industry leading portfolio, which with what Ratnesh will be talking about, expands that portfolio even more beyond our TLC and QLC product lines. Um, and, and again, what Kapil uh, is going to be talking to you about. Um, okay, so that's kind of who we are. Okay, so Really quick, uh, what is our when we look at the data center? What is our what is our strategy? Uh, we we are really kind of guided by our customers and and really uh, developing what we hope is kind of industry leading solutions. And we believe a lot of that is enabled by the decades long uh, deep technical relationships that we have with our customers. So we understand their workloads, their their environment intimately. And we take that and we apply that all the way back to design, um, qual um, uh, Q and R testing, validation, et cetera. Um, we um, are also guided by a strategy of leading in storage density. We believe density is key to solving some of storage's biggest challenges, whether you're talking about the core data center, whether you're talking about kind of that uh, that that mid-tier edge infrastructure, or whether you're talking about all the way out to the far edge, um, you know, with kind of some of your on-prem deployments. Um, and then, um, like I said, um, you know, the third bullet is really talking about how do we take that density value, which is really being recognized in many segments. We have QLC design wins in multiple segments. Um, how do we bring that density value to even more segments, even more workloads? And, and, and again, that's what uh, Kapil is largely going to be talking to you about. And then again, we like to think that, not think, um, we act on uh, the kind of the quality and reliability that we have in our DNA uh, from our Intel days, and we've carried that forward uh, into Solidime. And now with our singular focus on we are just storage, uh, that's it. We're not distracted by anything else. We are just storage. Uh, so, uh, you know, continuing to carry forward that quality and reliability and even raise it to higher levels. So what we're showing you here is this really is kind of a study that captures what our, our strategy is around developing kind of industry-leading hyper-dense storage. This study here done by the University of Toronto in a large-scale study, millions of drives, uh, millions of uh, drive, you can see drive bays, a number of drives, 
the number, the, the net takeaway from this study is that the vast majority of workloads are read intensive. And we believe that we're in a world that is increasingly moving in that direction when you look at modern workloads, big data analytics, machine learning, deep learning, just artificial intelligence in general, more insights, better results, uh, et cetera, with analyzing more and more data. So this is really kind of what, this study is emblematic of kind of what guides our, um, our, uh, our, our strategy around continuing to improve our hyper-dense uh, storage portfolio. And then what we're showing you on this slide here is, so, uh, and this kind of sets the stage for uh, what Ratnesh and Kapil are going to talk to you about. So now if we kind of click down the next level, what we're showing you on the right is uh, collaborating with the industry, doing a lot of research. What we've kind of then, what we, you're show, we're showing on the right here is we've overlaid workloads on kind of this topology that really demonstrates that there are a lot of read intensive workloads. Uh, so that's kind of all the workloads you see mapped on uh, on the left of this topology where you're getting into more of the read intensive uh, side. But um, Okay, so I thought I was getting to the next slide. So now what I'm showing you here is how does our QLC portfolio um, overlay onto these workloads. And what we're showing you here is uh, a couple of our fourth generation QLC devices. This is the uh, four, uh, 4KB indirection unit uh, drive, the P5430. So this can serve as you know, doing a very good job of TCO, density, um, in-place scalability, there's sustainability benefits, et cetera, extending all the way down to 4K bytes you know, all the way up to, um, uh, you know, all, all the way up the range. And then for workloads that are um, 16K and above, the P5336, because it's got a higher uh, um, uh, indirection unit, a 16K uh, byte indirection unit, we're able to drive some more cost out of it. So if, you, if you've got a workload that kind of fits these characteristics where the 5336 is overlaid, and you're looking for kind of maybe further optimizing your TCO opportunity, this would be the drive for you. And then what we're showing here is, oh, okay. I keep thinking I'm getting to my next slide. So now what, we're, what we did is we kind of stepped back and said, well, how do we deliver the value that these QLC drives, these hyperdense drives, how do we enable our customers to realize value even in more workloads, as you move a, a little bit more into that right intensity. And so we, um, we have a solutions-based approach. Um, I'm not gonna go through the NAND media so much, uh, but at the drive level, uh, again, Ratnesh is going to talk, talk to you about our SLC drive. And Kapil is going to talk to you about a software capability that he and his team have developed called Cloud Storage Acceleration Layer. Those two combined enable write shaping, which kind of makes the writes friendly in a way with, um, with that higher indirection unit uh, QLC drive that I talked about, the P5336. So they make writes friendlier that, um, uh, for QLC, again, enabling you to take advantage of that, but then service more workloads as you get to that write intensive side of, of kind of that topology. Could you, could you talk? A little bit about what the indirection technology is. You keep mentioning it. Oh, okay. Uh, I will give it um, my marketing speak, and I've got my technical experts here. Your, the indirection unit is basically um, that part in an SSD that is doing your 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 logical to physical mapping. Nice translation. Like For, yes. So you've got a re, you've got a logical request from the host. It's going to go th to the indirection unit then the indirection unit is going to say, oh, that logical request is physically here in the NAND media. And that takes an amount of DRAM. And so the larger you make that indirection unit, I've talked about 4KB, 16KB, the larger you make that, the smaller you can, uh, the smaller DRAM uh, that you can apply to that so you're able to drive down costs. Kapil, anything to add to that? 
just simply add that if you have a 4K ride to a 16 KB in direction unit drive, you will always minimally write 16 kilobytes. So there is a 4X write amplification, unfortunately, right. when you do smaller writes. It's a read modify write penalty, let's say. Exactly. <clears throat> okay, so good questions. So this is the slide that I kept thought, uh, thinking I was getting to. So this basically just kind of, you get an image of kind of the, the objective of the solutions capability this combination of the drive that Ratnesh is going to be talking to you, uh, this right shaping software that Kapil is going to be talking to you uh, in conjunction with a QLC drive enables you to realize that QLC value in more places. It we're extending the workload coverage. But basically what we're saying on the right is this solution combination, SLC, right. QLC, right shaping software, whether it's, whether it's um, uh, Kapil's capability or whether it's, it's right shaping that's done in the application, this solutions-based approach can enable you to deploy QLC with more workloads. So it's right there.